Hi guys, welcome back for another video. Today I'm returning with another video out here in the pit silage. So, yes, you may have seen my channel kind of went on stop there for a little bit, for about a week. I did take a little break. Um, I didn't upload any videos that last week there. Uh, simply just because I wanted the week off a little bit. Um, I've been uploading, I was uploading pretty consistent with my schedule and everything um, all throughout 2020 you know uh, with the first lockdown I started really going into YouTube and putting out a video nearly every day and um, looking back now I don't know how I did it but I did and um, but yeah so I took the week off just to kind of recharge my batteries I kind of think of some uh, more video ideas because, you know, you do run out of ideas every now and again. And um, also there's a change going to my model display. So that's why there may not be any like on the farm videos. It's because it's getting a change. So I'll just kind of give you a little hint there. And um, yeah, so hopefully everyone has had a good new year and obviously a good Christmas. Um, and uh, hopefully 2021 will be a bit better. Looking at things now, you know, with the coronavirus, I don't know if it will. I think it may be around for the whole of this year again, unfortunately. But hopefully stuff will be a tad bit better. Um, you can see I'm wearing my merch here, the hoodie and my hat, beanie. Um, but, uh, listen, as a 390, a lot of people like this girl. Um, I, all of my videos that I put this tractor in tend to get decent views, actually. And I do know why it is a good tractor. You can say Massey's crap, whatever you want. Maybe the new ones aren't so good. But again, I've heard all good things about Massey's anyway. So, you know, some people have their opinions. But with mine, yes, I do have a bit of banter maybe on the odd live stream saying uh, about Zeta and stuff. But as long as the tractor does a job, that's all That's all you need it for, to be honest. Um but yeah, Massey 390 Turbo. You can see, you kind of see the turbo sticker there. This is not a 390T. So the 390Ts, I think, were the newer, the newer Massey 390s. Um, so when I'm saying the newer 390s, our 390, if I open up the door here, if I open up the door, she has the gears in the middle. Now, the 390Ts, I believe, had a shuttle shift. Those were the newer ones that came out after these 390s. So we have the older version of the 390s. Um, she's on her original set of tires, I believe. Uh, these Michelins, I think they are. No, they're good years. Not good with tires, but yeah, they're good years. Um, and they're quite good tires. I tell you what would look mean on her is a set of front mud guards. I'm telling you, she would look a beast, but um, not a hundred percent. How hard it would be to put mud guards on the front of her, but um, I believe she's 30k. I'm not sure, I don't think she's 40. I think she's 30k. You can see the hub there. Uh, if she was 40k, I maybe think the hub might be out a bit further. I'm not 100%. Uh, this tractor, I believe, is boosted up to 95 to 100 horsepower. Now, I think they're like 85 something stock or something like that. And, oh, I think it's like 85 horsepower to the shaft. And, um, but this has an aftermarket tube and I think she's about 95, close enough up to 100 uh, horsepower. Uh, she's a gutsy little tractor. She'll do, a, she'll do anything um, that's, that's possible for our farm. She does the big jobs. She does the mowing on our Cavoulin mower. And yes, we do come through here with straw and you can see, uh, yeah, kind of bedded up the mower as well. And she does the hedge cutting, obviously you need a nice heavy tractor for that. And she does the chain arrowing. Uh, the chain arrows are quite heavy, uh, so she does that. And she does go on the tipping trailer every now and again on the roller. But obviously you saw last year I was using a 2040S for rolling. But um, yeah, she does whatever we need her to do, she'll do it, no bother. Um, we did repaint her. Um, I bought some paint, uh, it was kind of... Uh, um, a birthday present to my uncle, um, 
So we did paint it, and this spring I'm gonna wash all the tractors if possible and give them a good, uh, good, good scrubbing. With this 390, I want to totally clean her out in the cab, make her nice and nice and clean for silage time, and uh, make her a bit better. Um, I may try and find a cushion or something for that for that seat because that seat's looking better days. It's still comfy though, that's the thing. Um, but yeah, we did repaint her, and obviously she's been sitting here a lot of dust and stuff, and. Uh, she look a lot nicer when she's get washed. Um, go around here. She has two two headlights, as you can see. Um, so yeah, two headlights there. Uh, what else can I say about her? Um, she's had a pretty good service with us about two years ago. Now you may think, Jesus, two years ago. That's a, that's a long time. Well, to be honest with you, we. Don't put that many hours on our tractors um, that often. I think the most tractor, the tractor with the most hours is that 3200 John Deere we have. I think she's just headed over 7,000 hours or 6,000 something hours. So, yeah, and she does the feeding every day and all, and all sorts of jobs. Um, and you may think, why is this one sat in the shed all winter not doing anything? This is my uncle's Pride and Joy tractor. This is close enough favorite tractor and he tries to look after the best and um yeah um we have to get the exhaust welded back on uh incident happened when we were cutting soil the exhaust there was a lot of vibration in the exhaust and it rusted and it blew off and she sounded a bit like a, a six-cylinder tractor let's just say that without the exhaust um around the back end i know a lot of 390s also have a different type of linkage some 390t's i know for a fact 390t's a lot of them don't come with this type of linkage they come with a ball hitch linkage um but yeah so it's just like a an eye hook and uh, this is a hook uh, so you put the ball for instance in there and it's a lot easier to hook on uh, if you're by yourself uh she has the picker pitch on her because uh we have to use a third spreader on her this year, or last year, sorry, because uh, the 2040S um, had a blown tyre on her, and we were waiting for someone to come out and fit a tyre, and they they didn't order one in, and so we had to get the first out. So we used the 390, so we had to take the drawbar off because the PTO shaft, uh, we didn't want it getting damaged by the drawbar, so we put the pick a pitch on. Um, She's an all-round pretty clean tractor. I mean, we look after her the best we can. And the same with every tractor, to be honest. I know 390Ts as well have a massive badge down on the mudguard here. Obviously, ours is a normal 390. Um, so that's the back end of her. She has four spools. Don't really use those often. Um, and yeah. So coming around here then, just the same thing as the other side. Um, this door's a hell of a door. We spray with WD-40, put oil, everything in there, and it's still a squeaky little thing. I'll open this up. It's a bit stiff. It's not too bad now, actually. Um, this tractor did get a service with us. Uh, two years ago, as I said, she got a new clutch put into her. It was wrong hedge cutting season, and the bloody, the bloody clutch went on her, and... So what they did, we told them to do a full service on her while we were at the clutch, and that's what they did. Did the the turbo, um, they, what you call, did a service on the turbo as well. Um, I'll try and open these up, I'm not 100%, I think she's loose. There we go. In there. Um, so you can see, where is the turbo? I can't, I'm not 100% sure where the turbo is now. I think it's around there somewhere. Um, but yeah, he changed the air filter for us, um, and the other stuff as well. Did a service on the turbo, and, uh, yeah, she's looking, well, she's, she, she was better than what she was, let's just say that. That one doesn't work, I don't think. 
There you go. So, yeah. Um, toolbox. I don't think we have much in the toolbox. Just a little bit of things. We have extra mower blades. Mower, uh, the blade changer. And... Uh, Linchpin, <laughs> those are buggers for your hat, your for your fingers. You don't want one of those on your fingers now. A uh, little storage space there, some more linchpins. Going up into the cab. Oh, I see your clutch pedal, and as I said, she's going to get a good, nice, clean springtime before she goes out into work. Uh, she's just clocked over four thousand hours with us. Uh, you have your heaters there. Actually, the way they've set up the cab is actually quite nice, actually. Um, where they your rev, rev count, fuel gauge, your temperature, uh, all your gadgets here. Um, this is my probably favorite tractor to drive, I'll be honest. She's such a nice tractor to drive. Um, you have your lights, beacons if you have a beacon, hazards, steering wheel column up and down. So, if you're a big person like me, you might want the steering wheel a different, different position. You have your fan, fan, or your blower, sorry, uh, your windshield wiper, your horn, indicators, right there, your key. Yeah, the way the way you the way the key is set up on this is really weird. Like it's lo it looks like it's on, but it's not on. I don't think I haven't touched it, so I won't touch it. Um, you have your pull to stop there. Um, hand throttle and then your gears down here is a bit of an odd one uh, so you have one to three and reverse on here uh, so reverse it right up the top there and then you have three I believe up there and then second is right back down towards me and then first is down like that uh, you have hmm that's your high and low box High and low box there. I don't bloody know what that is. Uh, I can't right like, see what the symbols are. Fuses. I believe those are something to do with the heaters. Um, down here you have your spools. Uh, so if you have a post drive or something. Um, or what else could you be having? A uh, dump trailer. Dump trailer, yeah. If you have a dump trailer. You'd uh, use probably that one. Like we used, to, we did have her on the dump trailer, uh, twelve ton, uh, twelve ton Maston um, high dump dump trailer, kind of soil a few years back on a site, and I think it was that lever. Um, pretty sure. Uh, you have your left arms up and down, uh, and then your draft con controls right there, and then you have your foot throttle down there as well. Coming back here, your link arms adjustment there. Uh, handbrake, your four-wheel drive engagement. I think that's a four-wheel drive. That's for our hedge curl to put the levers. All sorts of stuff there. Hammer, um, pin for the drawbar, a few spanners. Um, no, it's not for when we break down before any of you uh, massy heaters start saying stuff like that. Your PTO engagement there. And that guys is pretty much it of the touring cab um i don't really have much i would love to start this tractor up but again as i said i'm not 100 percent with that switch um and if she has a dead battery because she nearly did we have to start her every month just to let her run for about 10 to 15 minutes because um she doesn't get much work winter and so we started her up last month i think and bloody hell she was close to not starting so i'm not gonna touch anything um, and it's a spacious little cab, this, uh, for one person. You wouldn't think it could be a high-line cab. I know she could be a low-profile one, but the reason I'm saying she could be a high-line is because I know for a fact the 390Ts with a shuttle shift, they have a low-profile cab. So I'm thinking it's the opposite with this tractor. I'm not 100%, but um, I know you have a low-profile plus and all that stuff. But yeah, and I think she could be a 93 plate tractor. So she's a 90-93, I think it is. So you guys work that out, what age she is. And uh, yeah.
Guys, thanks for watching. That's just a little video. Hopefully, you are glad that I'm back on YouTube. You probably didn't realise because it was just a week, but I am back. And I can't wait to get out on the fields again springtime. Loads more filming, loads more real-life farming videos coming soon. And model farm videos, obviously. And um, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Much appreciated. Every little sub counts. And it's totally for free, guys. It's really for free. If you don't have an account, make an account. You just need an email and a password. And you have an account, you can subscribe to anyone you want. Turn the notification bell on so you do get notified. Because uh, I know when I didn't have an account on YouTube, every time I saw a channel that I liked, I couldn't really keep an eye on and I'd forget the channel, so I'd have to write it down. But if you subscribe and turn then the notification bell on, you'll get notified as soon, uh, as, soon as I upload, so you don't forget. And... Um, yeah, guys, loads of more content coming soon. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions you want to ask me, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. Uh, video suggestions, whatever. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.